for this. But you know, and he oh, was talking. Oh, no. Like dying. Dying. That's a great pass. You're right. I see what you're saying. Make them make the hard. And so I'm like, oh. but like, it. but like, as a player on the field, like, you know, it's just like, like, you know, you're gonna get dog that play. So we love the Varsity po- Varsity House podcast. You can check that out on social media. Sean Crawford, a fan favorite, a kickoff favorite. Thank you so much for joining yeah, us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. They won't break. Oh God. <laughs> Anywhere it's fine. Or yeah, it's a program for one of your games. It's never been open. Thank you so much. And thank you for the memories. Hey, what's Video? your name prediction? Notre Dame prediction. Uh, Notre Dame prediction. Notre Dame prediction. Uh, we're going to win. Uh, we're going to win 42 30. Notre Dame. 42 31. So when you come back as a spectator, as a fan, what are some of the feelings that you have that are maybe different than when you were playing? Being on that field, I just kind of at first took it for granted, right? Because you're, you're playing, you're not thinking about that kind of stuff. But now I look back, I'm like, man, I wish I was back on the field playing, you know? And there are moments where I'm like, I could be there. If I just have one more year of eligibility, that's the biggest thing. And I missed that a lot, you know? I missed that. So, you know? Sorry. Sorry. I didn't realize no, no, you're I was good. No, get in it. In no, but like, this is a, this is a, a Wapu legend. Talk about tailgating. <laughs> Talk about t- and Notre Dame legend, but talk about tailgating and just like I asked him like the different feel that you have versus like obviously you play, you're nervous, things like that. Nerves same or different? Like dude, well games like this, right? Like you feel you feel the energy on campus. You feel that same like you feel for the players because you've been there, right? And it's just like man, are you? It's like the same anxious energy where it's like a big game and you just want to get out there and, and that first hit that takes it away, right? Like. You just want to get out there and make that first hit, and you can't anymore. That's like the, the hard thing about it. But you said you have that same excitement. I feel. I'm sure you feel that same thing. Nah, too, I right? feel it. But I, I feel four it. years later, four years later, yeah, you still I, have. I mean, that. I feel it when they win, and I feel it when they lose. Oh, dude, so the losses, ass. the losses, the pain, <laughs> that don't go away. That don't go away. No. All right, man. I'll see you. I'll be back. Yeah, for sure. Sure. What's the best time of the year out there? All right, so this is what I know. Notre Dame's got the new head coach, Marcus Freeman. A little bit inexperienced, but like he's got a good track record. Right, right, thanks. They lost to Louisville, which is a tough loss. USC is coming. Their OC moved on. They got a new OC. Ooh. I think Ooh. the entire program. Who got a new? Who got a new OC? Okay, yeah, okay, right, okay, right, right, okay, right, 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 right. Bayless left. Right, right. So I think they're rebuilding from within. I think that's tough. Yeah. They, they're under a new regimen. USC, I don't think. I don't think they have it though. So I think Notre Dame. I'm gonna say I've got them on seven points spread. Wow. All right. Well, we'll see. Well, I hope you're right. I, I just right. think like this weather, like Irish. I mean, it, 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 it makes so much sense that yeah, but like you know, if you hire someone inexperienced, you're willing to grow with them. Okay. As a head coach. Okay. So Notre so, so Notre well. Dame fan base and community gotta take the bruises and, and grow think, with the I staff. Think it's, I think it's a long term play. Okay. And I think over the course of the last three weeks, we've learned a lot. Are you speaking from experience? Our dad's a coach at Nebraska, <laughs> or so. Which we're still learning how yeah, to win yeah, there. Yeah, 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 We gotta grow with the program there. You're you gotta right. grow. You gotta, gotta grow. grow. So I, I feel you. I Sam Hartman. Yeah. So what's your prediction for the game? What, what y'all think going? USC is gonna win. USC is gonna win. How much? What's the score? Wait, what, what? I got a prediction. Really, he knows. Oh, he has a good prediction. All right, I've been calculating for years. <laughs> we do that. The we thing, like to calculate for years. <laughs> the thing is. Let's hear it. The thing is. <laughs> Our defense is maybe the worst even. I think we're gonna lose. I think we're gonna lose. I think you guys. Smart guy, actually. I think our He's defense. A smart guy. I think our defense is not gonna be able to stop you. I think we lose by 14 points. I think you guys score like 87, and maybe we score like 68. Thank you. I like you. Yeah. Just kidding. Notre Dame fucking sucks. Yeah. Go judge. Fight out. We're gonna win. Let's go. Sean Crawford here live. From South Bend, Indiana, Notre Dame, USC, Varsity House Podcast, bigger and better, let's go.
Touchdown, 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 touchdown. We will and then you know, like, you know your receiver over there, and they know your receiver over there. And at, the end, of, at the end of the day, like, referees throwing a flag on pass interference like 70% of the time. First Notre Dame football player you cut. Chase Clay. It's time for great moments. I don't know any more questions here. Tell, tell, tell them about how you, where you started, where you started from. Basement. Basement, man. I ended up making it big. Now I'm putting the whole team. Shout out to these guys it right here. Shout out to Sean. Shout out to Jameer Jones. Shout out to Claypool. Shout out to Julian and Love. That was one of my first clients ever. And yeah, they just showed love. Now I'm up. And he still show love. Anytime I text him, I'm passing through. He makes sure to find me a time slot to get in there, even if it's after hours. So always shout out to Julio one time. I know it's, I know it's already 10-3, but what's your prediction for the game? 10-3 in the second quarter with six, six minutes and five seconds left. Iris got the ball. I said the Notre Dame win 2017. Get that, get that, get that. That's so fucking Hollywood, yo. Straight Glizzy Gang, baby. <laughs> Yeah, stop. 